Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the topic 3.1 introduction to GTAA that is Generic Test Automation Architecture and this is the part 4 of this tutorial. If you have been through the previous tutorials please follow this as we will be having some of the understanding before we can get into the next topic. So this part 4 continues with the diagram on the architecture which we saw earlier in the previous tutorials. Further to continue in this remaining, we have the test adaptation layer. Now similar like to other layers like generic uh, generation layer, definition layer and execution layer in the previous tutorial, here we are talking about the test adaptation layer which we have also spoken about in bit detail in tutorial 2, that is part 2 of 3.1. In this adaptation layer, it consists of tool support for the following. Controlling the test hardness, interacting with the SUT, monitoring the SUT, and simulating or emulating the SUT environment. So generally when you talk about an adaptation layer, it generally forms of uh, creating these stub and drivers which would be required to assist your execution. Also creating the web services or the APIs which would be as a part of between the uh, as a layer in terms of like the application and the database and also simulating emulating becomes a platform catering to you to serve your app interaction and the user of the application both the test adaptation layer provides the following functionality of course mediating between the technology neutral test definitions and specific technology requirements of the SUT and the test devices as well Applying different technology specific adapters to interact with the SUT, distributing the test execution across multiple test devices or test interfaces or executing the test locally. Further continuing in the next, we have here the configuration management of a task. Now what exactly a task is? Of course, task is test automation solutions, but what exactly we are talking about in this layer is in terms of configuration management of a task. How do we manage the versions of tasks? Normally a task is being developed in various iterations or versions and need to be compatible with the iteration or versions of the SUT as well. Because of course different iterations would include different changes and they must be compatible at each time of revision. The configuration management of a task may need to include a lot of things which are listed here like test models, test definition or specification, including the test data, test cases and libraries, also test script, test execution engines, uh, supplementary tools and components, test adapters for SUD, simulator and emulator for the SUD environment, test results and the test reports. So not more but yes, of course, the things continue right from the test adaptation layer to the test management of the tests. Of course, not limited to this, we do have a project management of a task here. As any test automation project is a software project, it requires the same project management as any other software project as well. Now, what is that? A TAE, that means Test Automation Engineer, needs to perform the task for all phases of established SDLC technology, I'm sorry, methodology, when developing the task. Also, a test automation engineer needs to understand that the development environment of the task should be designed such that status information can be extracted easily or automatically reported to the project management of the task. So the project management of test automation solution and uh, the you know, responsibility of test automation engineer is just as usual like any other tester within an organization and similar to the test management of resources like any other project. So the project management remains the same. It is consistently important that you keep on reporting and you find a different automated way where you can keep consistently reporting your management about the progress on the execution, including all the assets which you just saw in terms of configuration management. Of course, at the end, we have a small topic like task support for the test management. A task must support the test management for SUD, test reports including the test logs and the test results need to be extracted easily or automatically provided to the test management of the SUT. So I think the task support for the test management is uh, almost an extension to the project management for the task and does require input in terms of making sure that the task is having a good support to support the test management for the SUT as well. 
So team, that's all from this particular tutorial. Should you have anything beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your query. And uh, till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context of these topics. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on 3.2 coming up next by tomorrow. Meanwhile, if you have anything, just go ahead and let me know. All right, thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.